Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install Kali Linux 2024 that is the latest version from the Kali Linux at the time of making this video on VMA workstation. First go to Kali Linux official website to download the Kali Linux that is Kali.org. Click on download or get Kali, both are same. See here we have installer images which means ISOs and virtual machines. So click on installer images. See here we have the Kali Linux 2024 for 64-bit, 32-bit Apple Silicon. Okay. So click on 64-bit then click on installer or torrent. But if you want to download the older versions go to the bottom up to end then click on this archive releases or just right click click on opening new tab go to the click on Kali images see here we have the older versions as well if you click on 2023.4 then see here we have the ISO file okay for Intel this is the for AMD this is the ISO okay I'm closing this one so now go to installer click on download See, download has been started. To download Kali Linux 2024, no need to register, sign up or pay anything. Okay. Click on downloads, full download history. I am cancelling this one. See here, its a size is 3.8 gigabytes. I am cancelling this one because I have already downloaded. So now open VMware Workstation. If you haven't installed VMware Workstation on your PC, then go through the link provided in the video description and install it. I am using VMware Workstation. It is free to use for non-commercial purpose. Okay. So open VMware Workstation player. Click on this. Maximize this one. See, it is non-commercial use only. See, these are the list of the virtual machines installed on my machine. Okay. Click on create new virtual machine. Then select the installer disk, image file. Then browse for the downloaded ISO. Click on browse. Then select the Kali Linux ISO file. Click on open. Click on next. Linux Ubuntu 64 bit. Then click on next. Here provide the name. I am giving Kali Linux 2024. Okay. Location to store this virtual machine files and folders. It is virtual machine name. Okay. Click on browse. Click on VMs. Wherever you have enough space, create that. Okay. Click on this make new folder. Then provide the name. And click on hit enter. Click on OK. Click on next. Provide the disk capacity. I am giving 100 gigabytes. Click on next. See. This is the summary of the virtual machine. If you want to edit any one of them, click on customize hardware, then change them. If you want to increase the memory, you have to use this cursor or you can change the, the value here. Okay. Click on close. I'm okay with all these settings. Click on finish. Now click on play virtual machine to start the Kali Linux on VMware or right click, then click on power on. Both are same. Click on it. Use up and down arrows from your keyboard and select the first one that is graphical install. Then hit enter. Select language and click on continue. Location I am going with United States. Keyboard language American English. Here we have to provide the host name. Host name is nothing but the system name. Okay. That is Kali Linux system name. I am giving Kali 2024. You can give anything. Click on continue. If you have an existing domain, you have to give the domain name. Otherwise, if you want to create the domain name, you can provide domain name like it ends with these parameters. Okay. So, I am not going to provide the domain name here. We can provide the domain name later also. Then click on continue. We have to create the new user, so we have to provide the full name for the new user. Then click on continue. And this will be the username. Okay. So click on continue. 
then provide the password for this user. Click on continue, select the clock. That is the reason I am going with Eastern. Click on continue. Select the first option that is use entire disk, then click on continue. Continue. Then select this finish partitioning and write changes to disks, then click on continue. Click on S for confirmation and click on continue. Select this software selection and click on continue. I am going with the defaults. If you want to select genome or KDE plasma, you have to select them. I am going with only KDE plasma and remaining options. Then click on continue. Display manager, I am going with the light display manager, then click on continue. So, to install grub loader, you have to select S yes and click on continue. Select the device and click on continue. See, installation has been completed. Now it is asking us to remove the installation media. Okay, click on player, then manage, then click on virtual machine settings. Go to DVD, then uncheck this checkbox, click on OK. Click on continue to reboot. Provide the username that we have created and password. Enter. See, now it is asking to install the VMA tools. Click on install tools or click on remind me later. Both are fine. Close this one. Click on applications. See, we have the list of all malware analysis, cyber security tools or ethical hacking tools. Okay. And click on terminal. Maximize the part. File preferences. Click on change, increase, click on OK, click on apply, click on OK. Now verify the operating system version, more slash etc os hyphen release. See the installed version is 2024, disk calling Linux. If you want to verify IP of this machine, if config, maximize this one. See this is the IP of this Kali Linux machine. Okay, so in this video, we have seen how to download and install Kali Linux 2024 on VMware Workstation in the Windows environment. For more Kali Linux or ethical hacking videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.